Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. This is Laura, and I'm doing something a little bit different today, as you guys can see. Um, so I've been known to be crafty, you know, in my younger years, <laughs> and I know some of you guys are crafty, and um, you've been sending me all this cool ephemera and um, things to craft with and clippings and old gift wrap paper, and... We haven't really started our collage segment yet. Um, we are going to do that. But in the meantime, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on some of it. And so I started looking up some different collage artists on YouTube and ran into this um, trend that I'm sure most of you have already heard about. Glue booking. And I was like, yes, that's what I want to try. I wanted something relaxing, um, something I could just bring you guys that was a little bit different and uh, that you guys might like for your crafty side. And we can just chat while we're doing it. So there's a whole bunch of different ways you can approach the glue booking thing. Um, the one channel that I watched that I liked the best was Nicole at Relax Cut Glue. You can look her up if you haven't seen her videos. She's just really cute and adorable uh, to listen to. And she talks, she chats about her life. If you guys hear noise in the background, it's Jovi. <laughs> Jovi, go on. She thinks she can glue book too. <laughs> so yeah, so um, anyway... She is, was, has been very inspirational for me. I just love all the little stuff that she does. And like I said, I just want to do this not for the art of it. Because as I've told you guys many times before, I'm not an artist at, by any means. Um, but I just like to be crafty sometimes. It's just relaxing to me. So, I'm going to use images that I've found in magazines or that you guys have sent in. And... Like it, oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. There's different ways you can glue books. Some people do alphabet themes, some people do, don't have a theme, some people just, you know, do different size glue books and just make them random. But the one I liked the best was color. And also, when I get done, I thought Max would love the color glue book. So, this is what I've got started. I think it looks cool from the side. So basically, the one tips that I have for you is that you can use washi tape to glue together pages in just a regular old composition book. You can even use a composition book that you find for a quarter at a yard sale that's got writing in it because you're going to glue over it anyway. And that's what I did, and I got started. So I've only done... I tried not to overdo it, so I just did like five pages of each of the primary colors. Let me just flip through real quick and show you, and then we'll go back and do some gluing together. So I, I still need to do my cover, so if you guys have ideas about that, let me know. I know I want to do like something kind of rainbowy. And then I opened this up and I had this vintage gift wrap. So I think that's really cute. And so you guys be on the lookout for something for the title page here. But then, okay, so then I started out with blue. These are just backgrounds. So you just, get, I just wanted to go through and I love it when you go through and glue the backgrounds in. Because then when you go back to fit the little extras on, you have a really good idea of what it's all going to look like at the end. So here's my blue here. So, one, two, three, four, five blue ones. Purple. Purple's difficult, by the way, y'all. So, I don't have it all finished up. So, there's purple. This is gift wrap from the dollar store. So, that's a good tip that I got off of that channel. Um, there's some more of it. Purple's hard to find. Red. I still got to fill in a little bit of red. Like right there. Um, but here's orange. So this, this will be fun. These are, like I said, these are just backgrounds. This is a background. I'm going to cover up the other colors that aren't orange. <laughs> Hopefully. Yellow. 
I like how this page turned out. Um, not too thrilled with that. Let me show you this. This is a boo-boo. This is a no-no. <laughs> I didn't have my glue sticks ordered or anything, and so I just used some wet, you know, regular squeeze bottle wet glue, and this is what happens. It's way too wet for this kind of project. So, yeah. I mean, I'm going to glue over this. I'm not worried about it because, like I said, it's just for fun. But just wanted to give you guys that tip. These are the glue sticks that Nicole recommended, and I love these. I tried some other ones, and I don't like any of them as well as this. So there's the yellow. Here's the green. Green's what we're going to work on today. So I like this. I think maybe we'll work on this page. But these are good, too. This is going to be black or black and white. Um, this, this is going to be white. See, I've kind of, in pencil, kind of jotted down some things. Um, here's where I started my pink. I like that, don't you guys? Um, pink. And then there's going to be rainbow here. Again, here's gift wrap. So these are going to be rainbow pages. And then I have gold, which I think is fun. Because, you know, all the fashion magazines have gold. They have jewelry. They have perfume that's gold. So I think that'll be fun. And then the rest of it, I'll just kind of do as I go along. Like, we might do some combinations, you know. Like blue and orange, obviously, for Fat Bird Vines or something like that. Um, so yeah, I can take your suggestions on that too. Um, now you guys may not even be interested in this. I'm putting it up first on my members only. Um, so if you guys are members, um, maybe you'll like this little extra, extra, uh, inf not information, but little extra entertainment. Um, so yeah, so I think today we're going to work with the green. What do you guys think? And, oh, I wanted to show you this. So this is from an, um, an adult coloring book. So I sat and watched a movie and did this one night. And I thought it turned out so pretty and interesting looking. I put another piece of them over here. Our little pieces I had left. But isn't that cool? Okay. So I've separated out some good candidates for the green and I'm just gonna play with it here a little bit so as I'm doing that um I might end up you know me I'm not super decisive so I will probably have to speed it up a little and um do the voiceover um and, you know, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on in my life while we work on this. And then I'll come back to you in real time to see what you think at the end. Here we go. So here we go, you guys. This is my first attempt at this. And I hope you enjoy uh, chatting along with me while um, we play in the glue book. I love this big sofa. Um, so I'm going to feature that right in the middle of the page. As you can see, um, it goes beautifully. There's just something about this format, this color format that I'm drawn to. I love just, I love even just looking at the box full of little goodies off to the left there that I'm choosing out of. Um, I like finding the images in the magazines and in the things that you guys have sent me. Uh, some of you guys have sent me these beautiful stickers and little vintage clippings. So I'm loving all of that. And I don't know. I just don't know why I, I enjoy it so much. But uh, I hope that you guys will at least enjoy chatting along with me. And uh, um, feel free to just give me your opinions on whether you like this extra little kind of video for the members. Um... I am super drawn to the adult coloring book pieces that I have there um, that I talked about. It was time consuming to do. Um, 
So there is that. But, you know, if you're just relaxing in front of the TV and such, then it is a cool way to add interest to the book. I think it looks really, really good. The salad over there, <laughs> it fills up the page nicely, but I might regret that big splash of orange because it kind of cuts, cuts through the green. Um, but, you know, the beauty of it is if I get into it more and I don't, like it then I could just cover it up with a different image um so that's what makes it fun there's no pressure um it's all just playing just trying images and taking them off you'll see me just lay them down on the page uh, those apples just blended in way too much and then taking it back off laying it back down um I did edit the video so that it's not like an hour long um uh, but I did have plenty of pauses there. So don't feel like, um, you know, you should do this at any certain speed. This, I have a voiceover because I had to double the speed and I had to cut sections out where I just sat and looked at the page. <laughs> but, you know, I enjoy that too. I enjoy just sitting and looking at it. So, yeah, look at there. There's Anne Margaret. Do you guys remember her? So, um... Nicole at Relax Cut Glue, she gets a lot of her stuff at the Dollar Tree. And uh, this Anne Margaret, I had found this uh, magazine at Dollar Tree called Rewind, I think. And it's like nostalgia from, you know, different decades. Um, and this picture of Anne Margaret was in one of those books. And I really love it. And so I just had to use it. So, um, this past weekend, um, I, I just want to chat. I want to use this opportunity to just talk to you guys like we would talk, you know, on the telephone or whatever while we're, while we're just doing our gluing. So I hope you guys will glue along with me and, and just kind of chat. Um, my youngest daughter, Megan, just turned 22 and she graduated from University of Kentucky um, I can't believe it. You guys, where does the time go? My kids are 10 years apart and I still don't know where the time goes. Um, but you know, there's something about that youngest one going off, right? So yeah, we had the big family get together. It was lovely. Um, it was all just really awesome. They did the UK fight song. And did, did did the lights in the um, in Rep Arena all to blue and did like the strobe light effect and everything. It was really pretty awesome and emotional. So, but yeah, yay for Megan. Um, she actually wants to go to SCAD. So, Laura Moon Woman, I might be able to come give you a visit sometime because she's wanting to do one year of graduate school. Um, for her master's and she wants to get her master's in luxury brand management her undergrad is like in fashion marketing textile design so it's exciting um she worked really hard she made really good grades um she got through those four years without owing too terribly much money and so um as a family, we talked about it and we decided that that one extra year would be worth it for her um, if she wanted to do that. But she's going to have to work hard. So, um, but yeah, she's very excited about that. So I'm still playing with images here. Uh, some of these are stickers and some of them came out of um, a book that I showed you guys earlier with all these collage images, like a thousand and one collage images, images. Um, so I did prepare for this video cause I think by, by harvesting some of that stuff, because I think it just goes so much smoother. Um, as I said, the channel that I was watching that I've been watching, um, she does that. She has all of her stuff ready and then she just chats with you while she puts it down. So she doesn't have to stop and think, um, she does do voiceovers too, like me, but for the same reasons. Because, you know, you guys uh, don't want, necessarily want a two-hour video. Um, 
so yeah so and then this gives you the opportunity to chat and you're not thinking totally about what you're doing so um yeah so like i said i i harvested these images i cut those little slippers out don't they look so much better so you just play with it um for the most part they call that fussy cutting i'm sure you guys know that but fussy cutting is all that detailed cutting that you do that's a sticker there that I think looks cute with the red hair. But, um, yeah, so it makes this whole process go smoother. So I'm excited. I'm just going to need a little bit of organization. That's not my strong suit, even though I love all kinds of organizing tools and, and cabinets and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just not the best at following through. <laughs> But for this, I'm going to need, you know, little shallow boxes or drawers for each color. That way, that's going to keep me focused and organized. And the next time, if you guys like this video, the next time we play in the glue book, you know, it'll be easy to just grab those drawers out and say, okay, I've got some purple and go through and put the purple down. It's so satisfying to go flip through, find your background pages, and then start just fitting images in. Um, as I watched her do her color glue book, it's just so much fun because, like, you know, say next week we do pink, but um, when I'm harvesting for the pink, I found just, like, the perfect green thing for this page. You can go back and add to it. So... Don't feel like you have to go straight through and finish a page. Um, I had to cut out some of this video because I got kind of hung up on that. So, um, so yeah, just don't do that. Don't get hung up on it because that's the whole fun of it. You can go back and forth and, and go back and forth to the pages. Uh, and so that's what I did. I skipped on over to the next set of green pages because in my brain, when we first started, I was just going to do that one double page double page there that we've been working on with the Anne Margaret in but I was like oh well all, all the images that I thought looked good on that double layout that I had cut out so far I used but I still had these great images so I was like well I'm just gonna keep going right so this page and you don't have to do themes but it just so happened that this page kind of turned out to be sort of veggie oriented and I think those look really good so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those gourds down with those green onions uh, cover up some of the brick and stuff in these other pictures but uh, I like using the whole like the whole page kind of background Let's see how that one's mostly green because you're gonna end up covering almost all the background anyway but you do need the background because you don't want the white negative space showing through um you know when you do finish out the collage i found that cute quote about the trees and it was in green so i thought oh my gosh i have to use that and so that was cute And here we go, you know, I'm getting kind of close to uh, having used most of the stuff that I had fussy cut out. As you can see on my left there as I'm sorting through, some of those still need the detail work. Um, so I can't really use those today, but they'll be cute for the next time. Um, so yeah, I'm just sorting through, trying some things. That little cactus saying is adorable, but it's like, uh, it's about not being afraid to start on a project so um I tried it there I tried it on this page didn't quite look just right but I do want to use it because this is my first attempt at this kind of project um so I don't know I'm gonna save it I'm gonna hang on to it because maybe I can use it on the cover or on the title page or something like that in the future
Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I put that down and then I hated the salad. So I was like, mm, not doing that. But the apples did look good. So I think that I will salvage those and glue those down there and hide some of that wording in the bottom of the onions. So I'm happy with that. I think both of these pages are looking great. And you'll be surprised at how much stuff you can actually come back and forth and put back. Um, you know, every time you sit down, you can probably fit, you know, 40, 50 more little pieces everywhere. And every time you put something down, it looks like so much better. And it's just such a surprise at what the final, the final project ends up looking like. And I think that's what's so fun about it. Because, you know, it changes every time you sit down to work on it. It changes the whole vibe and the whole look of the piece. I hate those. <laughs> so I ditched those, but I do love that moth. So I finally settle on a place for that I like for him. I, I kind of like him down more towards... I liked him towards the bottom. It looks like I put him right here. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> He looks good everywhere. That's the thing. Some of the little stickers and some of the little um, detailed cutouts, they look good everywhere. Oh, I love that dress. But I think I'm going to wait and go back because um, I've got the shoes on that page. So I think I'm going to fussy cut the dress for next time and put it in there. Here I am trying the cactus on that cover page. But I've got to figure out something groovy and fun to put on that cover page. And here is a more vintage looking piece. So that's the whole idea. My whole idea is, you know, it, this kind of blends in. Even though it's crafting, it kind of blends in with the um, sustainability by, you know, reusing stuff that you find at yard sales and thrift stores, old magazines that would be thrown out anyway. Um, I like an old ephemera, you know, on these magazines that were they're damaged, you know. Um, at least we could salvage some of them and do these projects. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm trying everywhere here to use this postcard. Because I love it. I love the just that old vintage -y green tint to it. So I'm fussing around and playing with that over and over again. And I'm finally going to settle um, on something here. I promise. <laughs> if I had, when, when I do my next glue book, because I probably will do another one. I just think this has been so much fun. Um, when I first started out, my backgrounds are busy, as you can see on that page there where I tore all these different pieces of green and that's fine but it for my eye I don't really like it as much and you end up covering most of all those little pieces up so uh, next time I'm not going to do all the different pieces in the background I might tear some pieces and put on top but I think I'm going to try to use just the bigger pieces to make it easier for the backgrounds and so I put that one there with the postcard. And I'm going to let that go for a while. I fussed around there and spent a lot of time looking at that. So I think I'll just think about that page and come back to it. But I think that part looks good. Okay, so this has been so much fun, you guys. I think that is going to do it for this session. I hope you enjoyed our chat. Um... If you have any um, ideas for me, just put those in the comments below. Let me know if you would like to see any more progress on the glue books. And stay tuned for all of our other videos on the main channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.